How can we increase the ability of crop roots to locate and absorb water and nutrients? Follow this robot to find out. This robot is just part of a complex mechanism developed to reveal the secrets of wheat and other crops. Grown in soils with different nutrients and water contents, the wheat samples are taken to a huge CT scanner. For 10,000 years we bred crops uh, by using, uh, by looking at the above part of the plant. But we want to make plants more nutrient use efficient, water use efficient, and that requires us to actually really look at the way the roots grow. So we want to uncover the hidden half. Different scanners at this research facility at the University of Nottingham allow scientists to see how the root architectures of different plant species develop over time. It's a similar technology to that used in hospitals. Over the last five years, we've moved from maybe a scan taking one hour down to taking about 10 minutes. So we can shorten that time even further and that'll allow us to be able to look at much more dynamic processes of root growth. The images obtained with the scanners help to create computer models that accurately reproduce how roots grow in different soils and moisture conditions underground. We're now looking at multiple roots in the same image and trying to separate those so that we can look at the way they interact with each other in the ground. Um, we can get a sequence of images and we're using that to look at how the root grows and we are analysing the image to find out where the water is, where the air spaces in the soil are, so that we can study the, the interactions between the soil structure and the way the root grows. The models have allowed scientists from this European-backed research project to confirm theories about how roots are shaped to optimise water and nutrient intake. And they say they've also learned some new things. We've discovered that um, under low moisture conditions that the roots, lateral roots, won't actually develop as well as they do under um, higher moisture contents. If you can understand how those root systems actually develop, from a cellular perspective and tie those down to molecular mechanisms, you can gain massive insight into how to develop crops that might um, have a better advantage in, in sort of lower moisture conditions. The final aim is to identify the key traits and genes in the root architecture that control water and nutrient intake so more efficient and adaptable crops can eventually be developed. Auction, the plant hormone is, is very much involved in, in determining uh, where the, the um, plant roots will branch, for instance. So you might have a very long, narrow root, or you might have a very wide branched root, but we still, have, we still want to learn more, for instance, how uh, nutrients are taken up from the soil. How exactly does water get taken up into the root? Together with developing more productive crops, scientists say the research could have benefits for the agricultural environment. Currently, a plant will only take up 40% of the fertiliser that's placed on it. So th that, that means a lot of fertiliser is, is going through the soil, it's not taken by the plant, it's polluting the water. What we really want to do is to reduce the amount of uh, nutrients which are lost, to increase the amount of nutrients which are captured. And for that, the researchers conclude further cooperation between soil scientists, chemists, mathematicians, computer scientists and plant biologists will still be needed.